After months of failure, Seaton must have been at his wit's end. He hadn't even clapped eyes on Lobo. What he desperately needed was a lucky break. And eventually, that's exactly what he got. I camped out above the creek, close to where the snow geese and cranes are wintering. They spend the nights huddled together in the marsh, beyond the reach of the coyotes and the wolves. It was the commotion of the geese that led me to the clue I so badly needed. I recognized Lobo's mark instantly, and then noticed a second set of tracks, always, it seemed, running out in front. Wherever these smaller tracks led, old Lobo was sure to follow, leaping and rolling in the mud. Suddenly, I realized what was going on. The old marauder was in love. immediately that the she-wolf was his big chance. A cynical new plan formed in his mind. During the breeding season, which apparently a, a lot of his story took place, uh, that male is tending that female extremely closely. He rarely leaves her side during that time period. I chase wolves with a helicopter. It doesn't hurt them, we have to do it. But uh, when we move in on them, it's during the mating season, and you can always tell who's the breeding pair, because they will not separate. And so they're moving around in their own little orbit of two, and the rest of the pack breaks up and goes every which way. That male wolf, the alpha male, sticks right with that female. 